platform, another weight, and it just like rolls around. And like whenever you drop it, it doesn't, you can't like reset. It like switches and the bar is like on a different angle. And I'm just like annoyed all over. I'm like dizzy every time I'm deadlifting. So I was ready to give up, but I've already done four sets, so I'm just gonna do one more set. Just do it, pull it out. Um, I used to deadlift a lot. I need to get back into it. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm just like frustrated beyond measure right now. So I'm just gonna push through this last set and then uh, see how it goes. See how much I got. I got 80, 185 for eight straight reps. I tried doing it without the wrist straps. My Legion of Boom for straps. I tried to do it without them the first time and I was like, I'll put that clip in there. I was like so pissed because I couldn't hold on to it. It wasn't heavy, I just couldn't hold on to it. So it's just one of those days where I'm like agitated, I guess. But hopefully after this, the rest of the workout as well. This though, you're gonna kill it. Even her shirt is anabolic. Nerd lift wear. You got this. You got this. All right, kill it. Let's go. Come on. You got another one. Let's go. Come on. She's feeling good now. Let's go. There you go. Ah, that was seven. I should have been eight. <laughs> Pull it. Up, 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 up. Pull. Like a 405 on the next one. Brandon. Brandon. I'm unusual on David. Yeah, I got it. Let's go. You got it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this one's going to be maybe for three. And if she pulls three, what are you going to do next? No. If you pull three, we're going to go 255 and you're going to go for a single. I'm just saying, if I'm feeling good at three, I'll keep going. But I, I don't know if I can do this for one. So. You got this. 235. Let's go. Get mad. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Drive through the hips. There you go. Yeah. Good job. What are you about to do? This is 405. Uh, I've never pulled 405 before because I'm not a big deadlifter, but I'm feeling good. I think I might get it. You think you what? I think I might get it. You what? I'm going to get it. Okay. And if I don't... What? No. What? This is what the aftermath of a successful deadlift day looks like. Not at the desk doing emails and video editing, 
straight up in bed. And these guys didn't even deadlift. They just sleep all day. How you feeling, babe? I understand why they call them deadlifts. Because now you're just dead. I want to die. <laughs> and I'm about to lay right over there and finish writing some programs. <laughs> What's going on YouTube fam? I hope you enjoyed deadlifting with Brandon and I. As you saw in the last clip, I was absolutely destroyed after those deadlifts. It's been years since I have done conventional deadlifts, so it was actually really good for me to get back into it. And as you saw on my last uh, set where I did 235 times two, I actually did have the strength to do more, but I did notice that my form wasn't perfect. Um, so I went ahead and just stopped there, and that's just, really important to keep in mind if your form starts to suffer at all you just immediately need to stop and either lower the weight or just discontinue the reps you never want to risk injury so always drop the weight and finish the set with less weight just with perfect form now um i do want to talk a little bit about my off season and everything i've been doing this day that you're seeing right now was supposed to be back day and little props to uh brandon right now as you're seeing his arms and everything, he just looks absolutely amazing. Like his entire physique looks better than it's ever looked before. And he's been tracking his macros consistently, consistently making changes to his program, upping his macros. He's eating more than he's been eating in a long time. And I'm just proud of him for doing all that. So thumbs up for Brandon. Um, so like I said, this was gonna be our back day, but because we were both absolutely destroyed from deadlifts, it ended up being biceps, calves, and abs. Now, we recorded most of our biceps and our abs. We didn't get our calves, nothing too exciting there. Just some seated calf press and some standing calf raises. Um, it's funny because I tend to neglect my biceps, calves, and abs. So it's funny that those were the only things that I had left to train on this day. And that's kind of my tip for you guys. If you have something that you know you neglect, it might be time for you to dedicate a day strictly to that muscle or those muscle groups. I noticed that my biceps, calves, and abs were all three so sore after this day, and it's because I had an entire day just to focus on those. So if you're trying to bring up those weak points, uh, make sure that you just really dedicate the time you need to them and be honest with yourself if you're not giving them the attention they deserve on the other days. So I've been tracking in my little pink notebook that you guys saw in my last video, and it's awesome because now I have like three full pages written of all my workouts, my cardio, my macros, just everything. So now I can look back and today that I'm recording um, this footage, or, sorry, this voiceover is Monday, January 4th. And so I did isolated glutes and I went back and did the same workout that I did last week. And it's important to do the same workout again and not always change it because that's how you track progress. So I can say, okay, I'm doing glute cable kickback. What weight did I start with last time? And I look back and I'm able to you know, see that I started with X amount of weight. So I'll either start with that weight or I'll bump it up a little bit more and try and challenge myself and lift a little bit heavier this time. And I noticed um, I underestimate myself a lot. So I would write down the exercise and say, okay, I think I started with, you know, say 60 pounds. And then I would look back and I actually started with 70 or 80 pounds. So if I didn't have this to look back on, then I wouldn't know to push myself even further. So it's been really eye-opening for me, I think. Um, I think I underestimate myself a lot, actually. <laughs> it's been eye-opening for me just to be able to push myself in that manner. Um, and then also with my cardio, I, you guys saw my active rest day at Runyon Canyon. And then uh, Sunday, January 3rd was my other active rest day. And I woke up and did uh, 30 minutes of fasted cardio in my garage. We have a treadmill, so I just did some incline walking, nothing too intense. And I have no plan to like continue doing fasted cardio. I just woke up and wanted to get it out of the way before we went to church. So um, it was really nice. I got up, got a good sweat in, got to shower, go to church, and we actually got to see Star Wars. Any of you like Star Wars? Comment down below, let me know. Um, it was actually really good, but I won't spoil it for you. So um, we're ending this video with some abs. You're seeing I'm doing stability ball sit-ups. I did check my abs after this and they still were not shredded. I don't know why. I did a whole set, like 25 reps, guys. <laughs> um, after this one, I did a ab circuit. Let's see. 
I wrote it down. I have leg lifts, reverse ab crunches, and heels to heaven. And I only did three sets, and I'm telling you guys, I was so freaking sore from these. Um, and on the heels to heaven, the third exercise that you'll see here, you don't want to swing as much as I did, but I didn't record until the last set, and I was already like gassed out, so no excuses for bad form, I guess, but it still works. I, I got the job done, so that's going to be it for this video, though. Um, let me know if you guys are enjoying these improvement season videos and what else you want to see from my improvement season. I really love sharing it with all of you and it's been awesome recording all of it. So let me know if you want to see more workout footage or more about my diet or just whatever you want to see. Thank you guys for joining me for another great video and I will see you guys in the next episode of my improvement season. Hope you all have a fabulous day and I will see you soon.